or not that depends on our sharing settings okay whether the records are shared publicly or privately so that is a very simple concept you have to make the data available publicly or privately okay a private data means only the owner of the data will see it public data means if you make the data public everyone in the company will get to see it so that is a simple logic fine so we have just two project managers here they could be 100 so it's not possible actually go and define that which project manager will see my data who will not see that is it's not possible right i mean even if it is possible it will make things very complex so for that reason they have kept it very simple you have to go and make the data either private or public so sharing setting will be either private or public private means only the owner will see, get to see the data right public means everyone will get to see all the data so for in this case if i make clients object as private so what what do we need to make private we need to make private or public data from a particular object so in this case if we go and make the data under clients object as private then vijay will only see 20 records ajay will only see 30 records if we make the data under clients object these all 50 clients if we make this data as public then no matter who is the owner of which record both of them will get to see all 50 records so that is the simple logic so that is how we define the sharing settings okay The sharing setting is all about making data as public or private okay and uh, once something which has been made private is only visible to the record owner something that has been made public is visible to everyone okay and this thing is called OWD organization wide default right so this private or public setting is not specific to a user or specific to a group of users this is applicable on the entire organization right so that is the reason why this is called organization wide default OWD okay let's say how we uh, define that let us see this for the sharing settings you need to go to setup come to the security controls click on sharing settings okay so let me you know, show the navigation again go to setup security control sharing settings that's it okay under that we have organization wide defaults so organization wide default is what We have the list of all the objects. As I said, organization by default means you have to define the data as private or public. Whatever you define, if you make it private, it will be private across organization. If you make it public, it will be public across organization. Right. So that is the only thing that we need to define. So under organization by default, you have a list of all the objects, whatever objects you have in Salesforce lead account contact opportunity your custom objects project customer consultant client whatever right so uh, as we were talking about client if i go and say edit so the data from which object i want to make private or public i have that option let's say client we were talking about this client example go and make it private 
So see, the good thing uh, that we are doing here or the important thing that we need to understand here basically is that I am just saying private or public for the data under an object. I am not specifying name of a user or group of user. Right? That is the reason why this is called organization by default. So whatever you define here, the rule that you define here, that is applicable on the entire organization. So this becomes a default for the entire organization. Okay. Here. And if you keep it public, public read only means others can only see it. The owner can see and edit. Anyone else can only view, only read only. Public read right means everyone can see, everyone can go and edit. Right. So that is the thing. All right. Then beside this thing, beside uh, the access thing and all, there is an option called grant access using hierarchies. Now, what is this grant access using hierarchies? under this it means you know someone in salesforce we have that option of setting up a hierarchy okay who works under whom and that sort of thing we have an option of doing that uh, i will just show you that so someone who is on top of a particular person as per hierarchy will still get to see the data even if it is private which means your manager will all get to see your data even if it is private grant access using hierarchy means even if you make the data private no one will see it it's fine but your manager will still get to see it so that is grant access using hierarchy okay so i mean we just took it uh, this simple example of appraisal let's say you are submit submitting your appraisal details and all those things your colleagues will not see it, others might not see it, but your manager needs to see it, right? So, most of the times uh, the requirements are like this, that uh, they don't want people at the same level to see the data, but the manager or the person who is you know, on top as per the hierarchy needs to see the data. So, that is there. So, if this is checked on, the access will be given by default through hierarchy okay even if if it is public then there is no point of this i mean if something is public then it does not come into picture at all because anyhow my data everyone gets to see it right but if it is private then this uh, thing comes into consideration that okay now we want to give access to the managers through hierarchy or not okay so if you check it off then when the manager will not have access if you check it on then the managers will have access okay so this is something which we uh, need to consider only if the data is private if it is public anyhow everyone in the company is able to see it so manager is also one part of the company so he will also get to see it right clear on that so two concepts that we have talked over here for data access one we talked about the organization wide default public private secondly giving access to the managers through hierarchy now the third thing that we'll have to talk about here is sharing rules I think uh, we have a small question here, just give me a minute, I think uh, Okay, yeah, this default internal access and external access, what is the difference between this default internal access and default external access, so the difference is pretty simple. Uh, internal access is again as I said this is organization wide okay applicable on the organization so this internal access is for internal